Going on out there, yo. Today we're gonna be installing this aftermarket steering wheel right here on my '96 Honda Civic EK Coupe. First off, I'm showing you uh, the parts I got. I'm gonna show you the steering wheel itself. Um, nothing major. Just a nice aftermarket steering wheel, uh, blue and black. It's the major reason I got it. I like the color, I like the look of it. Has a home button too. Gonna be trying to install that also. <clears throat> And also have a uh, quick release to go with it. This is the quick release right here. It's not bad, all black. I was thinking about getting the, the blue and chrome one, but I was like, nah, I'm going to stick with the black. That's what I like. Quick release feels pretty sturdy also. Looks like it's going to be in there problems with that but I had to test it out to see now this part right here I was real shaky about the hub so I went end up getting uh spend a couple extra dollars getting a good hub right here adapter hub NRG make sure it fits my car make sure I won't have no problems out of it because the hub go bad that's when you lose control of your steering wheel and all kinds of bad stuff happens so I went up getting the NRG official hub right here this is what uh connects actually to my steering wheel column right here so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the installation process. All right, now first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your battery is disconnected. Make sure it has been disconnected for at least 30 minutes. Mine's already been disconnected. Second thing you wanna make sure you do is make sure your wheel is straight when you start to take it off. Make sure your wheel is lined up straight. Make sure you check it. All right, now we're gonna start taking off the steering wheel here. Simple process. Uh, as long as you've waited 30 minutes, you should be good to go. First thing we're going to do is pop out this airbag right here. It's a little flap on the side right here we can get into. Using my action camera right here. Hopefully y'all can see a little bit better what we got going on inside of here. Tab pops out. Star screw inside of there. Got to get something to fit that here in a minute. Pop out this side here. Same screw here and this side. Let's see if we got any fitments that fit that there. Look like this big one here. Well, maybe a little bit smaller. It may be a T30 or a T27. Let's try T27. I think it's a T27. That seems to be what it is. T27 right here. If you can see that. Gonna go ahead and start to take this loose. Now these two bolts right here is what's gonna break loose your airbag. Now your airbag should start to pop out. We're gonna disconnect it right here. Be careful right here. You wanna make sure that it is de-energized. It's gonna be this yellow connector right here. Which I uh, forgot that we could uh, just disconnect it from the bottom down here. Let's go ahead and do that. Make it a little bit easier. As you can see, the little tab right there just flips out. Connectors right here. All you have to do is pull this tab back here. Okay, this is yep. This is it right here. All you have to do is just pull this tab back this way. And it should pop off like that. And we can go back. Go back up top. And now we have some more wires to disconnect right here. The main airbag is disconnected right here. Then we have a harness right here to disconnect. Just uh, make sure you push that tab in and disconnect it. Let me try to pop my eye bag up real quick on my legs and so I can have two hands here. Mm. 
Alright, and that is your airbag assembly. Get that out the way. Alright, we're going to make sure our wheel is straight here. Now, what you want to do right here, if you have something, go ahead and mark where your up position is just to make sure you don't forget your up position. Alright, I went and got me a Sharpie. That should work. Make sure your wheel is straight. Just mark a line straight up and down so you know where your up point is at. There we go. All right, we should be good to go. Now we can uh, finish uh, disconnecting stuff. Now we're going to take off our uh, cruise control right here. Get that out the way. Two screws here on the side look like Phillip head screws. All right, that comes out pretty easy. All right, once you got that done, next up, we're going to go underneath now. Now we're going to take our actual covers off, which is only three screws. I can show you one here, one here, and one back there. And they're all Phillips screws. All right, make sure you keep those three screws. going to be using those again. Pin this piece, piece right here back on now. It should just snap apart. Make sure you set this aside somewhere. Let's go set this down here. Next step, we're going to be getting ready to take our actual wheel off now. So we're going to make sure our wheel is back straight again. We're going to go ahead and get a socket here for this boat I'm thinking this may be a uh, 19 maybe I don't know for sure yep it's a 19 might want to get a uh, extender to go on it That's your first time, it's going to be pretty tight, maybe. I have to lock my wheel up just so we can, uh... There we go. Broke it loose. Almost broke my arm. <laughs> we got it though. Unlock my wheel again. I just want to make sure your wheel is back straightened up. Looks pretty straight. Go ahead and take this off now. Now before you get this boat right here all the way off, just like try to beat on your steering wheel a little bit. It may be high and hard to take off. Mine's feel like it's kind of is more. Beat on in all directions. There you go. I feel it just break loose right there. Now we can go ahead and finish taking it off. All right, be careful. Make sure you don't damage your wires right here. This harness. I'm going to get this right. All right. 
All right, like that steering wheel comes off. Sit this out of the way. Next up, gotta just take this right here off. Couple screws. Pretty much halfway done with the job now. All right, and there we have it. Line this up right here. Make sure everything is straight. So these screws out the way. Take this harness right here off. Now it looks like for this one right here, this one is wired all the way down. Uh, going all the way back. I can see it here. I'm trying to find the bottom. It's right, actually, right here. You're going to have to uh, unhook this piece right here. Because you can follow this yellow wire. It's going to your, uh, your airbag system here. Send a little clip right here. Let's see if I can try to get it off on camera. I'm going to have to get in there and get it. But this is the only last thing we got to take off. This right here uh, unclips, but this one doesn't. Let's look at it from this angle. I can see it inside of the clip right here. Let's try and see if we can just pop it out of the clip. All right. Now, in order to get this out the clip right here, if y'all can make sure y'all can see that. Uh, this is the why we got to take it loose. All you have to do is take this tab, pull it over, and that pops right down. Now we can get this harness out the same way we done before. And that comes out like so. And also, it's another clip underneath here. Also, if y'all can see that, maybe not. But this is just the clip that's connecting to your horn. We will use this probably again here later. Reconnecting the horn. Now this right here is just a simple clip, just pretty much just, you can fill it with your hand here. Now I, un I unclipped it already, but I just, trying to get the actual clip off now, which I just released it. Alright, got these wires right here up. Now this was the, uh, the second clip right here. This is pretty easy to come off, just a little tab on the other end, and it popped right out. And just fell down in there, I'm going to pull it out here in a second. If you can see it right here, the other end looks like that. This is that's going to be the one I think we use for our horn. All right, now we're going to the installation process of the wheel here. First thing you want to do to make sure your horn work. Um, pretty much, uh, where's my uh, wire? Here we are. It was a connector that was on your clock right here. The connector that was up here, it was connected to the bottom here. It was one of the wires that was connected all the way down bottom, down there. It was just hooked up up here. Now, these are wired in. I think it would be a gray wire, then your red wire, then a blue wire on the edge. Now, I snipped all mines here because I, I thought for sure it was the blue wire, but it wasn't. So, since I kept the blue wire, all I did was just took the blue pin out and I placed this right here where the red pin was at. So, the only thing you had to do is just use your red wire. Don't use the blue wire like I did. I just used the wrong, I cut the wrong wire, so I had to take the blue one out and put it in here in the middle. Now, in the middle, this will be your, where your red wire will be at. So, you'll be using the red wire here. Now, what you're going to want to do, run this down, uh, down through here. We're going to connect it. 
Just tuck it somewhere nice and neat so it's out of the way. And we have a wire coming up right here. Now, it's plenty of ways. I've seen a lot of people do this right here. Uh, what I'm going to be using is uh, this right here. This is not a actual wire. This is a metal clothes hanger right here. As you can see, I just cut the bottom out of it and just like curved it. And what I'm going to do is uh, pretty much just, we're going to wind this up right here. I'm just going to wrap this right here around this metal clothes hanger here. Just for now, just for now. Then I'm going to place this in a curved position like so. Just uh, one here. Other end can go right there. Now what this is going to do is just going to create a constant connection right here to your hub. Now this is my NRG hub here that I'm using. And what it is is so when the wheel turns, when you turn your steering wheel, it's going to be constant connection back there no matter which way you turn. Now to install this right here, make sure that if you use this logo right here, if you use this brand right here, make sure your NRG logo is to the top. Or if you have a dot on it, make sure your dot is facing the top. That's if your wheel is straight. All right, right there. And I can see that we are making constant connection back there, if you can see. And also one thing, these right here have notches on the bottom of them. And you have to make sure that these notches right here are aligned. So let's go ahead and do so. Place this back where I had it. Let's check, make sure we're lined up. That looks like we are aligned. Looks pretty aligned. Now all we have to do is get our boat. We're just going to start tightening it up now. And also, what you want to do, if you are, you can go ahead and hook your battery back up now if you haven't done something yet. Now you want to test, make sure that this does work. Now all you have to do is just connect these two connects right here together, and you should hear your horn go off, like so. All right, and we are good to go. The only thing we're going to do is just finish tightening her up. Before you tighten it up all the way, make sure that it is aligned. Yep, it is going into the notch back there. All right, we're good to go. Good to tighten it down now. All right, we got everything tightened down. She's still straightened up pretty good. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna go to our quick release now. We're gonna disconnect our quick release. We're just gonna use this bottom half for now. Gonna be connecting these two right here. You hot and you cold. Looks like we're gonna be needing a uh, different type of connection here. Let me go ahead and change up this connector here so we can connect these together. All right, got that hooked up now, and I had actually put a, a little extra tape on it because we didn't want this right here to be grounding out touching our ground right here and as you can see uh, the bolt can connect it right here so you can tell that this right here is the ground so I just connected that to the black now we just got to stuff these wires in here to a way that they won't get all mixed up now it doesn't really depend it, it doesn't really matter which way you put this up here just your own preference as long as it's up here and stable got everything in here I want my sitting at this angle right here. Right, it feels pretty good. Everything feels flush. Go ahead and use some of my bolts to get this thing started. Uh -oh. 
Now all you have to do after you stuff your wires in there, all you have to do is just put these six bolts in. Just double checking it now, make sure everything was tight. Cause the the uh, the tool that I was using, it wasn't actually uh, it was a star wrench tool. I didn't have this size Allen key for my uh, screwdriver there, so I'm just using the one that came with it now, just to put a little extra tightening on everything. Everything seems to be pretty much tight. Next step, we're gonna be moving over to the steering wheel here. Now this is this is our hub here and our quick release uh, adapter here. Everything's in place. Now we're moving over to our steering wheel. Now what we're going to be doing is connecting our steering wheel to this actual quick release adapter right here. First thing I'm gonna do is just gonna uh, take my button out because I see the button came in a little crooked. So I'm gonna take that out. All right, this back piece is off. Uh, now all we have to do is just remove our casing around it right here. Sit that down. Uh, turn my button around. Straighten this up. I want my button to be centered. Center as possible, straight as possible. That is too. It's a little hard to turn. Yeah, I like that a little bit. All right, right there. Now we have to do is just hook our button up. Here it doesn't really matter which is which. The one thing you have to remember, my quick release, uh, my quick release is actually set up. I have, uh, you can see the inside of the ball bearings. I have three ball bearings on one side and I think uh, five on one side. Mine's the five is on this side, the three is on this side. So I'm gonna have to line it up like so, like this here. It's gonna be lined up like, like that there. So I'm gonna have to pit my wheel on like so so my top screw is going to be right here so it's going to go on pretty much something like that let's go ahead and connect it first doesn't really matter which is which here all right i'm going to put my button back in here again now That looks straight. For some reason, my uh, my button keeps coming out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my screws in here first. Well, actually, I'm gonna have to put the button in here because I have to put this uh, thing around it. My button just want to be a pain. That's all. I'm just gonna wind it up a little bit. All right, I got my uh, button in there now. Just pretty much just squeeze it down, tighten it up real tight, just squeeze that sucker together, man. Came out all right, and that's pretty much uh, it for the assembly process. Now, you can take a quick release, throw it back up there. It's nice and sturdy now. Wheels straight, wheels outside straight, good to go. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this off just to make it a little bit easier. Just going to... Uh, Reassemble everything that I took loose here. All right, this is the final product right here. Got everything back together now. Go ahead and sit the wheel on here now. See if we can do it with one hand. I'll see why not. She locks right in place. There you have it. All right, man. Do thank y'all for tuning in right here. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Go. My button is still end up going cricket. Suck. All right, y'all go.